the story snail. The Enormous Suitcase When it was time to go to her dad's house, Kelsey opened her suitcase and put in clean clothes, a big box of colored pencils, three books, and her unicorn picture. You're taking the pictures right off the wall, said her mom. Yes, said Kelsey. I like this picture. I think I should live in one house and both of you should visit me. But that is not going to happen. So I'm taking my picture back and forth. Well, okay, said her mom. Then Kelsey and her mom drove over to her dad's house. When Kelsey got there, she pounded a nail into the wall so she could put the unicorn picture above her bed. A week later, when it was time to go back to her mom's house, Kelsey opened her suitcase and put in clean clothes, a big box of colored pencils, four books, her unicorn picture, and a pillow. A pillow, said her dad. Your mom has lots of pillows. I know, said Kelsey, but I like this pillow the best. Then Kelsey and her dad drove over to her mom's house. A week later, when it was time to go back to her dad's house, Kelsey opened her suitcase and put in clean clothes, a big box of colored pencils, five books, her unicorn picture, her pillow, and her mom's pet dog. Whoa, said her mom. Not the dog. You definitely can't take the dog. But as soon as her mom left the room, Kelsey put the dog back in her suitcase and went out to catch the bus. The bus driver said, Wow, that's an enormous suitcase. You must be going far. No, said Kelsey. I am just going to my dad's house. I'm taking the bus because my mom said I cannot bring the dog with me. But I did bring the dog, so I'm taking the bus. Then Kelsey opened her suitcase and took out the dog. Yikes, yelled the driver. No dogs on the bus. But everybody on the bus yelled, Give the kid a break. So the driver let Kelsey keep the dog on the bus, as long as Kelsey promised to keep it on her lap. When Kelsey got off the bus, she dragged her suitcase to her dad's house and knocked. Her dad opened the door and said, Hi Kelsey, how come your mom let you bring the dog? Just then, her dad's phone rang. Kelsey grabbed it and said, Hi! Kelsey! yelled her mom. I did not know where you were. Are you safe? How did you get to your dad's? It's okay, mom, said Kelsey. I took the bus because I had to bring the dog. I always miss the dog. But Kelsey, said her mom, your dad has a cat. The dog will eat the cat. Yikes, said Kelsey. I forgot about the cat. And she hung up and ran to get the dog before it ate the cat. But when she got there, the dog was asleep on the floor and the cat was asleep on the dog. Neat, said Kelsey. They get along. Yes, said Kelsey's dad. Isn't it amazing how things can work out if you just try? Yes, said Kelsey, and she gave her dad a big hug. So the next time Kelsey went to her dad's, she took the goldfish. But the cat ate the goldfish, because it turns out that some things just do not work out, no matter how hard you try. The end.